Hey everyone, we have a special giveaway for you from August 14th through the 20th, the Women's Cup featuring Tottenham Hotspur hosted by Racing Louisville will be broadcast on Paramount Plus and we want you to watch. So we're giving away a $100 Paramount Plus gift card to one lucky winner. To enter, like this video, subscribe to Attacking Third YouTube and leave a comment on this video with your social media handle and you'll be entered to win a $100 Paramount Plus gift card. Subscribe like and comment and enjoy the episode. Hello and welcome to Attacking Third, a CBS Sports soccer podcast. I'm Sandra Herrera, lead NWSL writer for CBS Sports. Joined today, as always, by my colleague and co-host Lisa Roman, broadcaster and analyst for CBS Sports. On today's episode, we have special guests on for an interview today. But before we get into everything, quick reminder to subscribe on YouTube for exclusive interviews and whenever we go live at youtube.com slash attacking third. Not one, but two guests today. First up, we have Canadian International Olympic gold medalist, defender for Tottenham, Shalina Jadorski, and Moroccan International and forward for Tottenham, Rosella Ayan. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. We are completely amped to speak to the two of you. It's the first time that the two of you have joined us on our show. So, so welcome. It's also the first time that we've been joined by Tottenham players on Attacking Third. So we're very excited to chat with the both of you about the upcoming Women's Cup that's going to be taking place August 14th through the 20th in Louisville, Kentucky. So let's just start with that. Uh, what for, for each of you? What was uh, your respective reaction to the news that that Tottenham would be participating in in the Women's Cup? I let you take it away. Yeah, I think I was. I mean, I'm so excited because I feel like everyone over here we have a vibe like, okay, great, we're gonna go to America, we're gonna you know play quality teams, and I think it's a new experience for you know a lot of players in preseason to go all the way to the U.S. and then obviously having played in the U S for quite some time, I'm excited to get back there, you know, be challenged against, um, you know, some of those teams. So I think it's, yeah, it's just excitement and it'll be awesome for everyone to get minutes and, and really see where we're at in preseason. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to reemphasize what Shalina said. It's the first time that we're going away um, on a preseason tour to America as a club. So it's a really exciting opportunity. I've not had the pleasure myself of playing in the NWSL, so it's a really exciting opportunity for me to be playing, you know, against some top clubs around the world. So as Shalina said, we're all super excited to get on the plane tomorrow and head out. The Women's Cup this year in Louisville is a bit different than last year, the inaugural year for it. Um, so this year, it's expanding from four teams to six teams. As Racing Louisville hosts it, it's also OL Reign, Club America, AC Milan, Tokyo Verde, but Tottenham, you are facing Club America to start this tournament. So, Rosella, when you look at this match, this first match that you'll be playing in this tournament, what are you expecting against this Mexican side from Club America? You know, I think every game in the tournament we're we're going to go in that it's sort of like a final. We want to go in and win every game. So it's going to be a tough one. And I know uh, women's football in Mexico is growing and the league's getting stronger and better. So it's going to be a really good first game. Definitely a challenge. But, you know, it'll be exciting to play against, you know, that kind of opposition because it will be something different to what we usually face in the WSL. So it's a really exciting opportunity. Shalina, I'm going to go to you with this question. With the exception of Louisville, uh, all the teams participating in this competition are going to be playing in it for the first time. Uh, there are multiple clubs, Tottenham included, that are in a bit of preseason form at the moment. So what are some things that you're hoping to work on while essentially competing for a trophy? Yeah, I think, you know, our culture here, we want to be able to win games no matter what. So I think that will definitely be an emphasis. No matter who we're playing, we want to get a result. But I think, you know, being realistic and still where we are in building our partnerships, we have, you know, quite a few new faces. So we need to keep building those relationships on and off the field. But I think, you know, Rianne has set the tone that we want to come here and get results. And, you know, we're not expecting perfection. We're still, you know, growing into preseason. But I think it'll be good to be challenged against different opposition like this and, and see what we can do to get a result. 
So, of course, you're preparing to play on the pitch and, and go up against this competition. Roselle, as you mentioned, playing against a, a Mexican side that might be a little bit more technical. But with all of these clubs there um, and this expanded format for the women's club, there will also be a little bit of downtime when you're not playing that you get to watch. So I want to ask both of you this question. Shalina, I'll start with you. Is there any specific team that you are excited to watch play in, in person or any people in particular that you're excited to see? Oh, good question. I think, um, you know, knowing quite a few faces on OL Reign, it, it makes me excited to see, you know, if if we do match up against them, I think that will be, you know, an incredible match. Um, you know, I've got a Canadian on that team with Quinn and and yeah, so I think you know, in seeing some of their highlights this season, they've they've got a great team. So I'm excited to see, you know, if we face them and, and how they'll do. Rosella, for you, when you're not playing and yeah. you're just going to watch these games, is there any matchup you're excited for or any team you're excited to look at? Yeah, I mean, I love watching the Japanese play football. They're such technicians. So Tokyo will be a team that I will enjoy watching. And obviously, as you said, the the Mexicans are technicians themselves as well. So There'll be exciting games to watch, but as Shalina said, obviously, OR Rain, Louisville, they're all such high quality teams. You can watch any game and enjoy it, really, can't you? So, whatever's on and we're free, I'll watch. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's that. how we feel. That's how we feel as well. Any of these games, we're excited to watch. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I'm, I'm really, really hyped to, to check out all the teams as well. Uh, Shalina, you've touched on it a few times already. You've spent uh, some time previously in the NWSL. Uh, a couple different teams, Washington Spirit, Orlando Pride, the league has found itself expanding to 12 clubs recently. And then, like you mentioned, a number of your Canadian compatriots uh, play within NWSL currently. Are there any types of like insights or or pro tips like that you've given to your Tottenham teammates about perhaps the, the level or style of play in NWSL? Yeah, I think, you know, being in the NWSL, um, there is quite a few transitions in the game and it, you know, it is a very athletic league. So I think it, it is, there is an emphasis on, on being organized. I mean, as a defender, organizing our team in transition to be ready for that. Cause I think, you know, there are a lot of powerful and quick players in the NWSL. So um, I think just being ready for a bit more, you know, there could be some direct play in there um, and just being able to manage the game in that sense. Um, but, you know, we'll we'll bring our own uh, flair to it and hopefully, you know, we can play some good football and, and we're not expecting perfection again, but I think it'll be a great challenge. The Women's Cup is available to audiences to watch in the United States on Paramount Plus. So for any American fans or any viewers that are tuning in from all over the world to watch your Tottenham matches in this tournament, Shalina, for you, what are some things that you want them to know about Tottenham, about the style of play that this team has? Yeah, good question. I think, you know, we come from a place where we play with a lot of passion. And I think you can see that in our players. You know, we want to get on the ball. We want to drive at players. We leave our bodies on the line. You know, we are very strong defensively. So I think I want to see us, yeah, really put everything out there for Tottenham and see that in our actions, you know, see that how we tackle, how we communicate with each other. Um, and then I think more in the attack, I think, you know, we have some speed and we have some exciting players. So hopefully those combinations um, in the attack will, will lead to some pretty football. So I think, yeah, look for our, our passion and then obviously some quality in the attack. I love that. Some pretty football for you, Rosella, <laughs> for fans that are watching you perhaps for the first time as an individual player, what can they expect to see from you? Are lots of goals out of this tournament from you? <laughs> uh, I'll try my best. Of course, every forward wants to score goals. So hopefully that will be one of them. But as Shalina said, um, we've got, you know, speed up front, um, some, you know, a bit of flair. So it'd be an exciting game for people to tune in and watch all our forwards, but myself, yeah, speed, flair, and just hard working. I think everyone in the team leaves absolutely everything out there. So um, it'll be an exciting game for neutrals to watch and especially Tottenham fans. Rosella, I have to ask, you mentioned flair. 
What's yeah. your go-to move? Not, not to, not to tell the opponents, but your go-to, <laughs> like, do you love a little spin move or yeah. anything that you, is so fun to do? Flick the ball in the air. What do oh, you like the best? I haven't got that one yet. I haven't got <laughs> flicking the ball over a defender's head yet, but I love a Cruyff turn love. or a Maradona, depending on where I am on the pitch. I don't want to do I've that. seen her do it. Yeah. I love a Maradona <laughs> or a Cruyff turn. It's my faves. <laughs> I love that. Hopefully American audiences get a chance to to take a look at it. I'd like to follow up with you, Rosella, on, on, on one more thing. I mean, well, we're talking a little bit about how Tottenham and maybe some other clubs are, are finding themselves in a little bit of preseason form. But for the both of you actually coming off of some pretty intense international competitions, I'd love to just ask you to touch on very quickly for us, Rosella, this incredible run that we saw Morocco go through in the African Cup of Nations. Uh, talk to me about going through this experience with the team and being a part of history, essentially. We're going to see Morocco in the World Cup. Yeah, I mean, when you've just spoke about it now and I've just got goosebumps again thinking about it, like what we did when you take a step back and look at it is actually incredible. Obviously, we'd never played in an AFCON final before we went on and reached the final, um, you know, claimed silver and obviously qualified for the World Cup. So you'll see Morocco women in Australia and New Zealand for the first time ever next year. So it's, um, yeah, it was an incredible summer and just everything about it is something I'll never, ever forget. Uh, Shalina, for you, uh, coming off of uh, a gold medal in the Tokyo Olympics and Canada punching their ticket to the World Cup once more, how's it been for this, uh, let's say, six to to 10-month window for for Canadian uh, soccer? Yeah, I mean, it's been busy, that's for sure. Um, But no, I think, you know, coming back to Spurs after the Olympics and, you know, bringing that drive and I feel like it lit a little fire in me again so I came back and you know was was proud and excited but definitely wanting more for myself and and pushing myself harder so you know then we went into the tournament we got the job done we qualified for the world cup but um you know narrowly losing to the U.S. in a final always kills my heart so I think you know there's still some room for growth there but um we can take definitely a lot of positives out of the qualification tournament just to there's, follow up on that really quickly, I just I, because I, I feel like when we were covering the CONCACAF W Championship Tournament, again, the, the folks were able to watch it and follow it in, in the United States via Paramount Plus. And one of the things that we were kind of following and chasing was, you know, the, the potential matchup between the United States and Canada in, in that final and ultimately came to fruition there. Could you just speak a little bit about sort of the evolution of that rivalry? It, it sort of sort of feels like it's something that we've watched as as neutral sort of fans that kind of into it uh, kind of decade by decade by decade. It just sort of feels like yeah. it's really amped up over the last, you know, cycle or so. Yeah, well, 100 percent. I think, you know, it's just that rivalry between, you know, neighboring countries yeah. who who want to win, who both want to win. Um, and I think, you know, obviously we came away with the gold medal, but I think we still have a lot of improvement to do in our overall record with the U.S. And I think, you know, that's an exciting thing. Um, they've been a team that's been so good for so long. And, you know, we've we've gotten up to a gold medal, but I think it's, it's about the consistency and, and now what we do with it leading into the world cup. That's so true. The next month year um, of women's football is, is here. We've got the world cup. We have uh, so many things happening and so many moving parts and the women's super league getting started in just about a month from now. So you're in, you're traveling to the States to play in this women's cup. And then before you know it, you'll be back home and uh, back in England and preparing for the season that is ahead of you. When you look at kind of the preseason um, right now that you're in and and how quickly the season is approaching, um, how is the team progressing from now up until then? And kind of how do you use this Women's Cup tournament to prepare you for the Women's Super League? Rosella? You know, I think preseason obviously is the main element is to build relationships and get fitness. Um, and I think that's exactly what the Women's Cup is, is going to do for us. And we're playing such high quality teams. It's going to lead us perfectly into the start of the season. You know, we've only got a week, I think, is it a week until the season starts from when we get back from the Cup. Yeah. So I think it's probably the best preparation that we could have going into our first league game, you know, in a month. Yeah. Yeah. I've blinked and we're back. Yeah. <laughs> it is it is exactly one month, September 10th. 
uh, yeah. from today is when Tottenham plays their first game. Uh, Shalina, for you, is it, when you look at this season ahead in the Super League, are any goals that the team is setting for this year ahead that they have? Yeah, I think, you know, coming off of, of last year, um, we we're definitely proud of, of what we achieved, but I think we're a group that that wants more and we want to finish higher. Um, and, you know, we want to keep growing as a club. And I think coming off of obviously the Euros and how much um, traction that has gained here, I think it's an exciting year for the WSL. I think people are loving women's football and, and we want to produce a style of football that people want to come watch. So I think, yeah, goal is definitely finish higher than we did last year. And, and I want to make us, um, I, I want to help get us to a, a cup final for sure. Well, hopefully uh, you guys get a chance to do that uh, because Paramount Plus, again, once more, American audiences are going to get the opportunity via Paramount Plus to go ahead and watch the Women's Super League. So they're going to perhaps be introduced to, to Tottenham during Tottenham during this Women's Cup. But then once you all roll into the regular season, hopefully they'll be tuning in there as well. This has been a blast. We like to sort of close out the interviews with a little bit of, you know, maybe some some more fun, lighthearted questions whenever we have guests on. So for, for each of you, um, we usually go with maybe like um, a, a routine, like or like kind of coffee order or beverage order pre or post training. So I'll ask you that, but I've got another follow up for you, uh, depending on the answers of that. So for each of you, you're, we talk a lot about with, with players during their pre-seasons. So during that time, whether it's like a pre-training or post scrimmage, whatever, sometimes there's like a go-to meal or go-to beverage. You have like a go-to beverage order or a go-to meal that you you like to take in, whether it's it's uh, revolved around uh, trainings or scrimmages. I mean, for myself, I always have to have a coffee before a game. I would prefer an iced vanilla latte, <laughs> but you know, if that's not an option, I'll take a regular coffee. <laughs> And my pre-match food, um, usually I'll kick off at two in the afternoon. So it will be scrambled eggs and some British baked beans on toast. Nice. <laughs> Very specific. And that sounds delicious. That's absolutely <laughs> first for attacking. First fast. time we've had a player come on here and say, I really got to go for some British baked beans. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Shalina? Um, I guess for routine, I definitely love my coffee as well and I go for an iced oat latte uh that's my that's my go-to um and then I guess for routine definitely the night before I like to make um this pasta that's like a roasted red pepper pasta and Love red peppers. Yeah, I eat a lot of that carb load and that's yeah that's definitely part of my routine Shalina do you answer. make that are you cooking <laughs> yeah. that pasta yeah 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 so I found it's hilarious. I sound ridiculous, but I found a recipe off of TikTok and I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> so it's like roast red pepper, roast onions, and then you blend it together with like sun-dried tomatoes. It's great. I sound wow, like I a chef when I'm actually not, but. No, that sounds delicious. That. Roselle, have you had it? Like, do you I cook know. for your teammates? No, I was going to say she's let me try it. And it is a solid nine out of 10. Like, wow. <laughs> Wow. It's very good. It is so what would, what would push it to be a 10 out of 10? Uh, uh, maybe some chicken in there. Oh, I know you're vegan. But yeah, I, I'm fair. more plant-based, but fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> But it is so everybody's got different needs and in palettes. So exactly. Exactly. I'll take, I'll take a nine. I'll take a nine. Not yet. Not out of 10 a yeah. bad. Who knows? Maybe uh maybe a future in TikTok chef videos for Shalina <laughs> oh, Uh last one coming to the United States. Um, is there anything that you are all interested in maybe taking in while you're in, in Louisville, whether it's you know local cuisine or just checking out local sites at all? It's a good question. I think, I mean, on the, on the the focus is pretty heavily football, of course, but (laughs) I think because Louisville joined after, um, I had left the NWSL, I'm excited to see their setup because I know they've gotten quite good investment in, you know, their training ground and, and what they're building there. So I'm pretty excited to see that as a football nerd. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no, I hear you. I would like to see other sports, you know, baseball. I don't know if it's in season. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we are right in the middle of baseball season for sure. 
Perfect. If maybe yeah, that's a uh, Louisville. You can... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 for the baseball bats for sure. Uh, this was again. This was this was a blast. We appreciate the two of you taking uh, some time to to speak with us. So thank you, Shalina Rosella, for for joining us. And we also want to thank our listeners. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in and following along. You can follow us on Twitter at Attacking Third for more. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and anywhere you listen to your shows. A reminder, you can enter your name to win a $100 Paramount Plus gift card and watch Shalina and Rosella and Tottenham in the Women's Cup on Paramount Plus to enter. Subscribe to Attacking Third on YouTube. Like this video and leave a comment with your social media handle. Do all those three things and you'll be entered to win. For Sandra Herrera, Lisa Roman, Shalina, and Rosella, this was Attacking Third.